Hey guys, and welcome to the final tutorial in this responsive navbar series. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to focus on um, making the functionality for the overlay to appear and disappear when you click on the uh, the hamburger icon, which you can see there, and this close icon. So, um, in the last series, in the last episode, sorry, we uh, we coded the menu, uh, the navigation, and this overlay. So like I said, we just need to make this show and disappear when we uh, when we want it to. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to our code. We've got our index file here. And then open up your web browser. Go to um, google.com or google whatever and then type in google jQuery. And that's going to bring up a version of jQuery which is saved on Google. Um, you can download it and save it to your personal file, um, but I find that this way is much quicker and just a lot less hassle. So just copy this top one. So you click jQuery on the right hand side, copy the top one there, and just put that just before your end body tag. So your body tag's there, put it just above that, and save. And if we head back to our browser and refresh, if we open up our developer tools, which we've done in a few episodes. Um, and then go to sources, oh no, network, sorry, click on JS and refresh again, we can see now that jQuery is actually showing up, which means that um, it's being loaded from Google, and now we can use that on our site. So the reason we're using jQuery and not JavaScript is because jQuery is a library of JavaScript, which means um, lots of functions have been shortened and made a lot easier to use. Um, so it's just a lot easier to use uh, jQuery in the long run. So now we've got jQuery on our site, we need to head back to our project, we need to create a new file, and we're going to save that as scripts.js, oops, .js, and we're going to include that as well just underneath our jQuery, so it's just script source equals scripts.js and save and if we head back to our site and open up developer tools again and then refresh we can see now that scripts is loading up which means that it's loading into the site and we can use it so that's perfect so we're going to write our first little bit of jQuery really really simple all you need to do is a dollar sign to open up your function, then some brackets and some speech marks, and then we're going to call the div that we're going to we're going to press on. So in our case, it's an image, and I think it's called image. Uh, there it is image dot hamburger. So it's just image dot hamburger, and we're going to use a click function. So on the click, we want it to do a function, just like that. Do another one. quite hard to follow so I'll try and explain it at the end. Um, so this is basically, this is to open up our um, function, then we're saying when we, well this is the element we want to trigger, so image.hamburger, so when we click on image.hamburger we want that to set off a function, so every time that you, we click on image.hamburger this function is going to happen, so the function that we want to happen is for div.overlay to show and that's how you do a like a, a transition or a, a function so you just use the function name there and then just some brackets at the end to close it so that's fine that's going to open our overlay every time we click on hamburger but the problem is our overlay is already showing so we need to drop into our CSS um, just there find our overlay which is here and just say display none. So if we refresh again now, our overlay is gone. So our nav's all working here, our buttons are working, and if we close it down to a mobile size, when we click on our hamburger, the overlay shows. Perfect. Next thing we need to do, this X icon isn't closing it, so we need to do the exact same thing. We might as well copy this because it's almost identical, just a few changes. So copy that change image.hamburger to image.close and we'll change show to hide. Really really simple. 
Um, a good thing to do in jQuery is just comment everything. So two forward slashes, and we can say this will close overlay. And forward slash is there. This will open oops, overlay. And that's really useful because, you know, in weeks or months when you're reading your code back, you want to figure out what it does. If you have a really complicated function, this might just save your life in with regards to having to read out the whole function. So there we go. Head back into our site, refresh again. If we click this time, the overlay opens. And if we click again, the overlay closes. Perfect. So that's really all there is to it. Really, really simple. Responsive navigation. So there it is on desktop. There it is on sort of tablet size. And then anything less than a tablet, we've got this nice hamburger menu, which opens and closes. Perfect. And these are all working now. We can click on any of those. Um, they don't go anywhere though, so there's no point. And that's it. It's a really short video. Um, I'll show you a few things just because it is so short. Um, rather than hide and show, we can use things like, um, what should we change this one to? Okay, we'll make this one um, fade in. So fade in literally means that the overlay is not going to just show and appear anymore. It's going to fade in, so a nice little transition. And then we want the when we click the close icon, we want it to fade back out. So save that and give it a refresh. So this time when we click it, there's a nice fade in animation. And when we close it, there's a fade out. Really simple, but really effective. Used on lots of sites. Um, one more I'll quickly show you is slide function so we're going to say slide down and then slide back up and as you can see i've always got a lowercase first letter and an uppercase um, first letter of the second word if you know what i mean so lowercase there uppercase there and that's always the way it is with jquery just to uh just to make things a bit more complicated so this time we're looking for a slide animation so when we click on the hamburger it slides all the way down and when we click on the close icon it slides all the way back up, down and up. <laughs> so there are three really, really common transitions or um, functions that you might see on sites. Um, yeah, so that's around about it. There's not a lot else to say about this, so that's the responsive navigation all done and dusted. Feel free to download the source files in the description and have a play and you know check your code against mine and make sure it's all the same, or you know if you've got better code, great. Um, Comment down below what you want to see next in the tutorials. Um, comment if you have any tips for me or anything like that. Um, and I'll do my best to reply to them all. So see you in the next tutorial. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.